Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it is like for me to be a stay-at-home mom. Okay, so the other day I got asked the question, what do you do all day? And while first it made me really upset, <laughs> I couldn't be super upset because before I had kids, I often wondered what stay-at-home moms did all day. I had this vision that they sat on the couch and that they napped and they watched soap operas all day long. Um, they got to go shopping when they wanted, they got to eat whatever they want, do whatever they want, basically whatever they want because they had no one to answer to except themselves. So when I um, became a stay-at-home mom, I had this whole idea of all this free time I was going to have and um, how it was just going to be... Um, this like really easy experience. <laughs> so um, when I had my first, I um, had always made the decision that I was going to put him in daycare and I was going to continue to work. I worked at a corporate company for a little over 10 years and it was always my dream to climb the ladder and to be um, successful in the corporate environment. So um, I had started a second business selling cake pops and it had grown and grown and provided so much income for us that um, when Ty was born, I decided that there was absolutely no way um, that I could part with him. I had to stay home. I had to be with him all the time. So um, I stayed home and I remember that first week post baby, post C-section was just like a complete blur. And so after all the family leaves and after you start gaining a little bit more sleep, you wake up one day and you're like, oh, it's just me here by myself um, raising this little kiddo. And you feel the pressure of um, not only taking care of them and providing for them, but as they grow up, um, you know, most kids in a daycare are getting some type of enrichment, some type of education. Um, you hear, I hear so much about from my friends that have kids in daycare, all the things they're learning and they're learning different languages and sign language and all of this other stuff. So it really put some type of pressure on me as a stay-at-home parent to say, um, let me make sure I'm doing everything I can to help grow them, um, enrich their minds, make sure they're learning what they need to. Um, so my typical days as a stay-at-home mom when I just had one was to wake up, cook breakfast, um, change three or four diapers. It depends on what age your child is, but for me, it was a constant either cooking or cleaning something or someone. So I can tell you without a doubt, um, adding a family member adds respons more responsibilities in terms of just keeping the house clean, especially if you have a baby who's crawling and mobile. You have to keep your house clean. You have to do more laundry. You have to do your significant other's laundry. Um, so I found myself, um, once all the hubbub in the family had left, um, I found myself really even struggling just to juggle one child and the responsibilities of cooking, cleaning, and providing for my family, which is something that I wasn't really great at before I had kids. <laughs> so um, it was a really big challenge. And I remember just feeling really overwhelmed and really um, not sure how to handle all of it. So I would say, in addition to cooking and cleaning, we had a weekly schedule of when it was just my first, every single day had an activity. I knew every single free thing in the city to do. So we would be at library story time, we would be at Barnes and Noble story time. Then we'd have a Gymboree class where he was learning and developing um, every single day. Swim lessons, every day there was something. Um, and that still continues to be the case because any day I sat at home, I felt like maybe I'm not doing my job. <laughs> maybe I'm not doing enough. So we always have something planned. Um, and there's always that need to feel like I'm developing him and that he's is he on track? Is he keeping up with his peers that are going through a daycare system? Or, um, you know, there's there's that pressure. So, and that's with one baby. <laughs> so when I added my second baby, um, everyone told me it was going to be really hard and I had no idea. And um, it, it was a lot to take in. I've had two C-sections, so the recovery from the second C-section, while it was easier, it was still um, a challenge because... Now I have a toddler who I'm chasing around constantly who needs something all the time. And so um, I would say on a day-to-day -day basis, I am changing diapers, I'm potty training, I'm doing, I'm cooking, cleaning, I'm running errands, I'm dropping off 
Um, I'm dropping off dry cleaning. I mean, all, our day is completely jam-packed. And I swear there are days where I look at the clock and I'm like, is it almost five o'clock yet? Where is the husband? And can I also just say there are times when I am super jealous of my husband who works in a corporate environment where he can run to a cafeteria that's like 10 feet away from his desk and get whatever he wants to eat, drink. Um, is it wrong to be jealous that he has even time to go to the restroom uninterrupted? Um, I have very, very little free time. What's happening right now is a dual nap, which is rare, um, both kids sleeping. And I'll say that um, being a stay-at-home mom is absolutely not what I envisioned, <laughs> like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I have no free time. I'm never sitting on the couch watching a soap opera, um, eating popcorn or napping. I mean, that would be awesome. There are days where sometimes this happens and I'm able to take like a quick nap if I was up all night before with the baby. Um, but what I will say is there's always this battle between stay-at-home moms and work-at-home moms. And um, my personal perspective is I feel like there's just, if you have the ability to do it, there's absolutely no better job in this whole entire world than staying at home, raising your children and watching them grow. It is such a special thing. And to think for a second that I wanted to be in a corporate environment and climbing the ladder was so important to me. I look at my life before kids and I think, wow, having kids really does change your priorities. Um, and I feel like I have the absolute best job on the planet and I feel like it's totally underrated. I feel like people may not completely understand it and you know what, that's okay. It's one of those things that just like me, before I had kids, I had no idea. And I feel like unless you do it, maybe you don't really have a good idea of um, the craziness of what stay at home moms deal with every single day. Um, and I know I sound crazy and I only have two kids. I'm sure people who have three, four, five kids, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> but I do wanna wrap up just by saying, um, whether it's your decision to work or stay home, we all know that you love your kids and that goes without saying. Um, some people don't have an option. Some people choose to work in the corporate environment um, because their finances won't allow, um, won't allow it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's the love and the care that you have for your child. At the end of the day, every single moment you spend with them um, is one that you're helping to enrich their lives show them how much you love them and help them grow into wonderful people. So I'm not judging anyone. I was judged, so I thought I would just share what my personal experience was being a stay-at-home mom. I would love it if you would um, put a comment below and tell me how you feel about being a stay-at-home parent or a working parent. Um, all opinions are respected. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about all of